It is day 74 and it's once again 9 o'clock and I'm just getting started. I'm hoping to get at least 10 miles today. There's some campsites there. There might be some past it, but I haven't looked. Uh, today looks like a good mix of up and down, but it's like a big up and then a big down and then kind of like a little or hill after that. We'll see how today goes. Hopefully it stays cool like it has the past couple days. That would be really helpful. Attention northbound hikers. An unsafe bridge has been removed at Comer's Creek Falls about a mile north. During times of high water, use the 1.5 mile detour, turning left here via the Blue Blaze Sticky Gap Trail. They have three of these signs here. I guess this is a huge problem. But there's no comments on Far Out saying that it's dangerous to cross. So I'm going to go north and hope that something hasn't dramatically changed in the past couple days. This is the falls. Crossing looks safe. This is Dicky Gap VA650. Looks like we need to go over towards the parking area. So according to this, we're going to enter Raccoon Branch Wilderness and then be on or near Rich Tops for four miles before we reach the Trimpy Shelter, which is the last shelter that has a bear box in this area. The Trimpy Shelter is in 4 miles and Route 16 is in 14.5. It is 11 o'clock. I've done almost 4 miles. Going up here hasn't been too bad. This is a really flat section so it's nice. Uh, the top is 1.6 miles away. And then there's a few camping options. There's one in 7 miles and one in 10 miles. I've been going through this very tight tunnel of mountain laurel and other plants. Not really blooming anymore. Some of them still have blooms, so. They look a little burned. Uh, Trimpy Shelter is now two and a half miles away. It's probably about half a mile to the top. And there's another path where you can get to the raccoon campground. They're all kind of over, almost overgrown. This is the top. There's a little bit of signal here, so I was able to finally email the hostel that I sent my package to to let them know that it was coming, and that I was planning on coming, because uh, it looks like there's not any more signal heading down to Trimpy or heading back up the mountain after that, or there could be a little bit somewhere, I don't know. Uh, so it's 12.30. I definitely have plenty of time to keep going because Trimpy is only two miles away. Uh, and the farther I get today, the closer I get to getting my package. Didn't realize that this was considered ridge walking. Thought that would be more on like the top of the mountain. But I guess if you can roll off the mountain, then that's a ridge. Also, while I have you here, uh, way back in my first video, I said that I was going to do my best to upload daily videos, but sometimes I might not be able to. Uh, for day 59, I think, 60, those videos came out late because I wasn't able to get them. What was that? I wasn't able to get them uploaded in time, so every now and then, hopefully not too often, uh, there might be breaks. I will announce that on my Instagram on the right underscore path. I don't have the community tab on YouTube because I have 419 followers and I need 500 for that. So hopefully I can work my way up there pretty quickly and then I can post that way so it's a little more clear.
It is 1.30. I'm at the turnoff for the Trimpy Shelter get now. Uh, I'm not going to go down there. Birthday girl went down there. And when I got here, Mouse and I think she said her name was Jenny and her dog Luna were here. Um, and they said that the next 10 miles to the partnership shelter is supposed to be uh, easier than the last 10 miles. So... Uh, I don't know if we'll get that far because that would be an almost 20 mile day, but we'll see. Back out into another field. There's some cow looking things over there. I think this is the best view we're going to get. They're hiding up in the trees. And I looked up the mileage. For me, it's probably going to be about 17 miles, not 20, so. Uh, maybe doable. So came out of the field and then walked up the Sturt Road. Now we're going to cross uh, 672, which is Slaptown Road, and then climb up this hill mountain thing. There's another snake right there. Here we have a bridge to Virginia 670. Right here we have a frog. Hello friend. Nice view of the stream. We have these uh, life of a mountain stream plaques that need some replacing. Yay, 670. Start of Path Maintained Trail. Adopt a Trail Program. Piedmont AT Hikers Club. This volunteers in cooperation with the USDA Forest Service. Maintains the next 64 miles of trail. The partnership shelter is 7.8 away. Uh, mostly uphill. I don't know if I'm going to aim to get there, but I'm just going to walk until... I don't want to walk anymore, and if I happen to get there, then great. Well, this is not easier than the last 10 miles. This is nice, even with a little bit of rocks and roots. At least it's flat. Here's a view of Rye Valley. The partnership shelter is four and a half miles away, but this is our lovely terrain, nothing but rocks. I think it's one mile until like kind of the top and then there's some puds, and then it's down and back up to the shelter. I don't know if I can make it that far because this is really slowing me down. I thought this said Vago from really far away, but it's VA601. which is a dirt road. This is the site I was originally going to go to, except I didn't want to carry any water up here. Uh, so I'm going to keep going. It's 5.30. The partnership shelter is 3.4 miles away. So I don't think I'll get there today unless this next section is super nice. If you looked at the title of this video, you know that I did in fact make it to the partnership shelter which also means that I did 17.1 miles today, and that is my biggest day yet. I wouldn't say that Virginia is flat, and the last 10 miles wasn't uh, easier than the first 10, but it, it's better than Georgia. So thank you for watching, thank you for donating, and I'll see you tomorrow.